for all these plant-based food companies that are doing an amazing job replicating the, the experience of eating animal products, they require ingredients that will give them the texture without altering taste or color. And so after hearing that once and again, we decided to develop that. At Microterra, we have developed a functional and nutritious plant-based ingredient that can be grown in an affordable, sustainable and scalable way. All while cleaning the water of the fish farms in which it's grown. It goes through a rinsing process, then we dry it, we mill it, and then we have two products. So one product after the milling goes to the packaging and that's it. And the second product goes through an extraction process where we remove taste and color. We thought because of the IP landscape we've been doing and what our competitors have been doing that they wanted something very sophisticated and it turns out to be wrong. Like, Customers demand clean labels, less processed products. They want to have one product that already brings together fiber, protein, and, and of course the functionality of the pectin, instead of having all these biorefined products that they later on have to add. So the magic there is to really characterize everything that is in your product. If you talk about pectin, people react. And so we started to to research on like pectin prices and, and like other properties. And then we went on all this functionality adventure of like, okay, uh, is it an emulsifier? Is it not a jellyfier? Or how does it behave, right? So this is, is already a great ingredient because of both of their properties. Let's just make it more accessible for the plant-based food industry to use it. The amazing part about Lemna is that it can grow in 36 hours. That means we can harvest it every second day. So it's a very noble culture. Fish farming is extremely risky. Fish can die from one day to the other and all the investment that you've done over months, it's ruined. Then they have very, very high operational costs starting with the fish feed, but also with the energy consumption to maintain them healthy. And the last thing is they have very low margins. They are not these early adopters that will want to try different things and spend money on different things, right? Like they are on a short budget. So we needed to play with that. And, and we started to say like, okay, what if instead of, of selling them something, we buy something from them? What if instead of like demanding that they clean their water and we charge for that, what if we could do it the other way around and use their infrastructure and use whatever they have already there into our and their advantage? By giving them an incentive of extra revenue, we are changing the game. We are changing the way we approach these farmers and we are changing the way they react to our idea. And this is for me how you, you create sustainability by incentivizing the right people in the right way. I think if, if you're online and you think that uh, this is the way that agriculture should work, you should reach out and let's talk. <laughs>